Hey there survivors, and welcome to the roll skipping and slingshotting guide. We will be talking about mechanics as a survivor, but mastering these skills also work while playing monsters. Each monster has their own movement mechanic to traverse around the map, and this guide will cover mechanics used for both boxy spring skips and Huggy's charge hops. Mastering these skills is the main reason why I see Roly Poly as a useless perk for survivors. Now, we will cover roll skipping first, as it will benefit us during our slingshotting section. There are three levels of difficulty to roll skipping in Project Playtime. You're not guaranteed to gain a huge distance while roll skipping, but it'll still be beneficial compared to just running and rolling using Roly Poly in my opinion. You can practice roll skipping in the lobby if you like, as you can start a private lobby that no one else can join. The distance you get in the lobby will not be exactly the same in game, since there will be stairs, ramps, and other things that can affect your speed and distance. During matches, you can gain insane speed and distance if you're really lucky with a roll skip. First off, we'll start with the basics. The idea is to roll, then jump right before the end of your rolling animation using the spacebar while holding down the shift key for speed. After you keep the momentum with your jump, you want to spam the spacebar again as you're about to land to continue the momentum. While in the jumping animation, you don't lose speed, but if your character enters the walking or running animation during this attempt, it'll eat away your momentum. We all started with the spacebar back when the game first came out, but we realized something after a while making roll skipping that much stronger and more reliable. Level 2 consists of the mouse scroll wheel down, which will also make your survivor a monster jump. Doing this made roll skipping a lot more consistent. Same as before, roll then used the mouse wheel to jump near the end of the roll while keeping the shift key pressed. Before you land, just scroll the wheel down again trying to time the roll action with landing, keeping your speed and roll skipping hopefully. With level 1, you might be lucky to get 1 or 2 jumps in. Level 2, you can chain 2 or more jumps depending how quick you are to react. You just need to scroll just before you land, hoping one of the scroll rotations triggers a jump continuing your speed. Level 3 is the Holy Grail. With this, you can chain jumps to the point where your roll is already recharged. How do you do this? It all depends on your mouse. If you have a mouse that has an infinite scroll option, roll skipping becomes a valuable tool and makes slingshotting even easier. You do the same as before to start a roll skip, but with the infinite mouse scroll, it'll allow you to basically land the jumps almost perfectly while you focus on maneuvering around obstacles and on your pathing. With this, you have a reliable way to traverse around the map, finding spots to help continue your speed while the monsters struggle to chase after you. Next is slingshot, which is what we started calling the tech involving dash handles. Not all dash handles are made equal, resulting with some being in great spots to slingshot while others are only good to pull yourself with. Some advice for gaining a ton of speed with dash handles, make sure you grab them with your grab pack at full extension. The longer you hold onto the dash handle, the more speed is built up. You want to scroll down on the mouse when you're about to get close to the dash handle, or before you let go at certain dash handles like in the lobby of theater. Otherwise you'll probably just end up crashing into an obstacle or the dash handle itself. I also prefer to strafe on the opposite side of the dash handle to me. If the handle's on the right, I hold left and vice versa for the other side. This tends to help me not crash to the handle and keep my speed exiting from a grab. This will take some time learning from which direction you should slingshot for the biggest gains during chases as like I said, they're not all made equal. Some handles work better going one way and worse the other way. Crashing into objects is the biggest issue you can deal with while slingshotting, resulting in the monster catching up and downing you. Perfecting your slingshots will be the biggest issue I can see while dealing with this tech, as they can be quite tricky with how they are positioned. These are the basics for executing roll skipping and slingshotting tech. Mastering these would also relate to your monster gameplay. For example, roll skipping is pretty similar to boxy spring skips. Only difference is, is instead of rolling, you use a spring to gain the momentum and keep it by jumping with your scroll wheel. Huggy can also benefit from using the scroll wheel to jump out of the end of his charge, gaining speed to cross pits and other obstacles. It's up to your skills and determination to utilize these movement tags and dominate in the matches you're a part in. If you liked the video and it helped you out, leave a like. And don't forget, subscribe for more videos. Till next time.